a national tragedy for Norway. At least 92 people are killed in a bomb attack in the capital, followed by a mass shooting at a youth camp. People run everywhere and just scream, run, run, run for your life. And uh, then I heard more gunshots. Hours earlier, at least seven were killed in a devastating bomb blast targeting government buildings in Oslo. We are a nation in grief. We are a nation that wants to support and care for people who are experiencing this grief. A Norwegian man with far-right sympathies is charged with the bombing and the mass shooting. In other news, the Press Association is reporting that the singer Amy Winehouse has died. Her body reportedly discovered at her flat in London. Welcome to the program. We want to take you immediately to Oslo, where my colleague John Sopel has been watching the events of the past 24 hour unfold. John. Kamala, thank you very much indeed. Well, flags are flying at half mast. The city centre is eerily quiet. Thousands of people milling around, but it doesn't feel like a shopping centre on a Saturday. People are very quiet, not knowing quite what to do with themselves. There's broken glass everywhere where you stand. But even telling you that doesn't do justice to the profound sense of shock that is felt across Norway that something quite so unimaginable could happen in a normally quiet and peaceful country. Our first report is from Richard Galpin, and I should say you may find some of the images disturbing. Gradually, the survivors are brought back from the island. Traumatized and probably scarred for life, they are the lucky ones. They're still alive. This is the beautiful island retreat, Utaira, which every year hosts a summer camp for hundreds of teenagers from around the country. Earlier, it seemed so perfect.